it, it's not even discussed. And so there's no way that that could be accidental, right? It's not an oversight. They are purposely not talking about gold. Now, there could be several reasons why they don't want to talk about gold. I mean, one might be that the Bitcoin advertisers don't want the public to know that gold's actually going up now. As the winds of financial discourse blow, one voice echoes louder than the rest, and that's the voice of Peter Schiff. Picture this. While Bitcoin buzzes and stocks soar, there's a silent titan, a shimmering beacon in the sea of markets. Gold. In this electrifying snippet from Schiff's video, we're thrust into the heart of the matter. Why the hush-hush around gold's monumental surge? Join us on this exhilarating journey as we unravel the secrets hidden within gold's glimmering ascent and dare to challenge the status quo of financial wisdom. Keep watching this video till the end. We made a new record high. Gold was up about $30 at one point last night. It traded above 2260 Now, I mean, $30 on a Sunday night, that's very rare to see that kind of move. But what's even more rare is that there was no news. It's not like something happened. Nobody dropped the bomb anywhere, right? It just went up. And that was on top of the near $40 rise that gold had on Friday before the holiday weekend. So you're talking about like a $70 rise, 3% move in, in, in really, you know, a little bit more than one day, you know, from Friday to early Sunday, right? Very rare to have that kind of move. But also very rare was the complete lack of attention that the gold rally has been getting. You know, I, I didn't get a chance, you know, to, to watch, you know, financial television all day long because I was doing other things. But um, where I was in Mexico, it was two hours early. And so I kept getting up, you know, 5 a.m., and my family generally slept till around 7, right? We didn't have breakfast until about 8, and then we went out riding. So I got up early, and I was able to watch, you know, the Squawk Box on CNBC in the morning. And they don't mention gold at all. They, I mean, they had Anthony Pompliano was on this morning at 7, 7, 10 in the morning. This is following this big spike up in the price of gold. Now, it had come down uh, in our, our time zone. I mean, that's basically what happens. It rallies in Asia as the Asian central banks are buying and some smart Asian investors. And then when it rolls into our time zone, the dumber American investors, they sell the rally. Right? I guess they need more money to buy these Bitcoin ETFs. So Anthony Pompliano comes on. Gold's just hit a record high. He's interviewed for 10 minutes. They don't mention gold once. They're only talking about is Bitcoin. And in fact, well, the, the funny thing that, 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 that Anthony said, you know, he, he's, he's doing an interview and he claimed that Bitcoin doesn't have a marketing department, that the only thing that advertises Bitcoin is its price and its returns. And, and so, you know, the price going up is really what's, what's driving everything because there's nobody doing any marketing. And I'm just laughing at myself. I mean, it's all marketing. What is he talking about? I mean, he's, he's an army. He's a soldier in the Bitcoin army. In fact, he, 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 I actually, he's, he's not just a soldier. He's, he's an officer, right? He's high ranking. He's one of the leaders of that army to constantly pump Bitcoin. And the biggest irony is he's claiming that Bitcoin doesn't have a marketing department on CNBC, which is a network that is basically dedicated to promoting Bitcoin. And I think that that's why they're not talking about gold. Because I remember, you know, not too long ago, they talked about gold every day. I mean, they didn't, you know, harp on it, but they mentioned it. Now they don't even mention it. It's like it doesn't even exist. When the price was going nowhere, when it was going down, yeah, they pointed that out. But now that it makes a new high every day, it, it's not even discussed. And so there's no way that that could be accidental, right? It's not an oversight. They are purposely not talking about gold. Now, there could be several reasons why they don't want to talk about gold. I mean, one might be that the Bitcoin advertisers don't want the public to know that gold's actually going up now because they might actually buy that instead of Bitcoin. So maybe that's part of it. And, you know, I saw a chart. I, it, this hadn't occurred to me until I saw uh, it was tweeted out. Uh, 
I, and, and so I saw uh, th this chart of uh, the Bitcoin price in gold. And I thought it was interesting. While Bitcoin made a new high in dollars in this recent run, it got up to like 73,000. And I think the, the old high was around 69,000. So Bitcoin made a new high in dollars. It didn't make a new high in gold. And of course, it got crushed against gold today because it was down one or two percent and gold was up a percent. Uh, and so it's falling further below its high. But Bitcoin's price in terms of gold was in 2021. We didn't even take out that high in, in 2022. So we'll see. I mean, maybe Bitcoin is never going to make a new high in gold. That would be very interesting. But there could be another reason that CNBC and other financial analysts don't want to talk about gold is because of the message that gold is sending. Because what gold is telling you, and gold is making new highs the way it is. And gold is not just some commodity. I mean, it is a commodity, but it's a special commodity. Right? So if, let's say, pork bellies were making a new high every day, all right, I mean, I could forgive CNBC for not talking about it, right? I mean, it's just one commodity. Right. I mean, it's not that significant, but gold is special because of the monetary properties and the monetary role that gold plays. I mean, if anything can be said to be the canary in the coal mine, it's gold. And, and so you've got this warning and nobody is paying attention to the message, even reporting that the warning bell has been sounded. What is gold telling people if they're smart enough to listen? What gold is screaming is that what the Fed is contemplating is a mistake. That cutting interest rates, whenever these cuts begin, is the wrong policy that interest rates are actually too low and they need to go up. But the Federal Reserve and the financial media are ignoring this warning. And the investors, I mean, you know, they, they, they are clueless, right? The warning is falling on, on, on deaf ears. And maybe one of the reasons is they don't even know that the warning's been sounded because the financial media has got radio silence on this stealth gold rally. And imagine, too, if the public knew that gold was going up and they had some inkling of why, they'd be buying, too. Imagine how much higher the price of gold would be right now if the American public was actually buying it. Or if they weren't selling it, which is what they have been doing, they've been liquidating. I think the liquidations now maybe have you know come to a come to an end. I'm not sure, but for months and months, all year, they have been selling gold through the GLD. Meanwhile, this is one of the best years ever. I mean, maybe this is the best start to a year. I haven't researched it yet, but if it's not the best year ever, it's one of them. Right? We're up. I don't know what we're up. Fourteen percent or fifteen percent this year. In, in, in the price of gold. Um, but that's with the public selling gold, right? And that's a wrap on our fascinating dive into the world of finance with Peter Schiff's eye-opening take on the rise of gold. As we wrap up, remember, while everyone's chasing the latest trends, gold quietly shines as a smart investment choice. So whether you're a newbie or a pro, keep Schiff's advice in mind on your journey to financial freedom. Hit that subscribe button for more insightful discussions, and until next time, happy investing. Thank you.